Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here today with my July 2019 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. Um, the inspiration for this kit was the Click Kits June 2019 Sweet Tea Kit. And it was a combination of the main and the junior. And I went ahead and pulled in some elements from the color kit as well. And some additional stuff to create some stuff. Anywho, in the junior kit, the inspiration paper was from this uh, One Canoe 2. And it is by, oh, never mind. It's <laughs> Golden golden Rod by One Canoe 2. The manufacturer is One Canoe 2. And then the, the line is called Golden, golden Rod. And this is a paper pack. Uh, oh, yeah, American Crafts. They own everything, don't they? This is a paper pack that I found um, just recently, like in the month of June at um, Tuesday morning. And so uh, there are several sheets in here that are single-sided, but then there's several that um, there's two. Uh, some of them have uh, metallic foil um, and others don't. So, yeah, it's got cut-aparts. Um, yeah, lots of full sheets, uh, four by six and three by four, and then the multi-size um, cut-aparts like here so I'll use that as my inspiration sheet um, and you can see the white in this pattern paper um, has a gray tone to it not necessarily the back side but it feels a little bit gray um, and also like in here there's some cream tones to it lots of greens and blues with some pinks and corals added in uh, and this paper pack um, in the original in the main kit did not have it had a few sheets out of here but it had totally different feel to it but because i bought this um, and it is used this month with the counterfeit kit challenge kit i'm going to use it um, the back side of this tells you which which ones have two of which ones have one of you know that kind of thing but I'll leave it open to that. Now the inspiration kit had a larger alphabet and it was a gold alphabet. Um, I did not pull one of those in. What I did pull in was I pulled in a larger alphabet, but it's not like a um, thickers. These are alpha chips from MMBI and I bought them at Tuesday morning. So I have these this pack is partially used um, and then I think I've used like maybe one or two out of here but I want to try and get um, more of these used up and it gives me the gold tones uh, for the like the inspiration pack it does I think they're may they're probably a little bit bigger than the inspiration it also had word thickers and these are a set that I pulled in an old team Amy Tangerine set called Grace and I only have one sheet left in this package I have another package of these but I thought I'm gonna try and use these up different words I'm gonna try and use these somehow uh, whether or not I get them used up I don't know I also pulled in this other sheet of thickers and I want to say it's celebrate I don't see it on the back side and the front side is covered up yeah celebrate um, and it's got these generic words and like happy party love numbers um, and it's got some of the turquoise tones which you can see just a hint of like in this pot just a hint of around here just a hint of in the glasses there's a lighter blue or a mint color here so I think I'll be able to pull some of these colors in um, like lovely and celebrate and festive love you and it has that uh, deeper red or deeper pink tone here um yeah so we'll see what i can get used up with those uh then the inspiration kit had um doilies and so i pulled in some doilies uh, i pulled in some off-white doilies some craft color doilies and then some gold metallic doilies um so i have those the inspiration kit had uh, flowers and it had pinks and creams. What I did was I found this from Recollections Mulberry Paper Flowers um, and these 
oh gosh, I don't know that these were the ones that came in it, but this is the container that I have them in. These are like cream shades. So I pulled in these. These are golden cream tones, and it's got some green in the center. Oh look, there's a brad even. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and get these used up. And then I pulled in some that I had um, from Paper Studio called Affinity. Now this started off as a... Um, with 24 flowers and there's probably at least 12 in there but it's got brown and turquoise and green and gold and some of that um reddish color that's in here um so i think i'm going to try and get all of those used up as well if not they'll go back into my stash the other thing that it called for was pink flowers so i went into my pink color bin and i pulled out all different flowers I was aiming for these darker crochet flowers that were at the bottom of my color bin jar. Um, and so as I pulled them up, others came out. Some of them I put back, some of them I kept out. Like that's one that I, I added a brad to and never took the brad out of. Um, these are ones that I think I pulled apart from. I bought a bunch of flowers and I think same with that. That's probably from a Recollections pack. That's probably from a Making Memories pack. You see, I have all, all different shades. Um, and then the crochet. Um, I have double flowers there, just single flowers there. Um, a smaller one or two. Um, and then the larger. So I have all of that as far as flowers go. Um, of course, I pulled in washi tape. And I pulled in multiple rolls. The inspiration kit had a bicycle theme, but I couldn't find a stamp that I wanted to use that had bicycles on it. I found one with a little tiny one, but because this one was bigger, I wanted something bigger, but I didn't have it. So, yeah, well, or I couldn't find it. Um, I pulled in this green glitter tape only because the green in here, I'm going to try and highlight with this. And if you look at it, this isn't just a solid green. It's got other variations of colors in there, especially when you lay it down here. Beside the other colors, it tends to pick up some of the hues of that. I pulled in a couple of rolls of green. I pulled in a couple rolls of blue. I pulled in this pink and coral with the gold tones. Then this washi tape with bicycles on it in different shades and then I pulled in this rose color or this rose pattern um, washi tape as well so I have all of those then the inspiration kit had some um, die cuts and you guys know me when I go for die cuts I really go for die cuts and um, I pulled in these old pebbles chips I've had multiple packages of these, um, and this is a new package that I haven't opened yet. But it's got a lot of the blue color in here. It's got yellow, and it's got purplish tones, um, and the off-white or gray tones. So I'm going to try and get some of these used. If I don't get them all used, that's okay. Um, I went through, and I found this leftover set from Cheeky Studios. I had previously used it. I have sequins. I have uh, flare, and I have die cuts. So whatever I have left... I'm going to try and use it, try and use it in here, and I think these will go fairly well. If you look, these gray, um, they're grayish blue tone uh, leaves here, they have them here in this paper as well. So I'm hoping it'll match up some. Then I went digging and I found, because of the darker blue, I found these die cuts. These are Cheeky Studio. Um, and I don't remember the line name with these. I don't remember the line name for any of them. And I don't think they're uh, this is called Midnight Florals. What was this one called? Winter Flowers. And so you can see it has the deeper, darker tones of blue and red and pink. And it's got some little color splotches there. Um, but I think, you know, I'm going to try and get some of, some of it used up. If it doesn't get used, it can go back into my stash. And I am way okay with that. Um, when I buy something, I buy it because I like it and I want to use it. And... I'll use it till I'm tired of it, or I'll use it up, one or the other. So there you go. Uh, I also pulled in a set of My Mind's Eye Bliss Ephemera, and it's got some of the lighter tones and gold tones. This is originally a wedding set, um, 
I don't know how much of this I will get used. I'm going to hopefully get some of the paler uh, white or gray or um, mint color or light bluish color uh, pieces used um, as I go along. And I think that was it as far as that goes. Yeah. So then, um, of course, um, I wanted to, one of the inspiration kits, I think the junior kit had some stickers in their, um, in their collection. And so I didn't really have all the stickers um, that they did. So I pulled in some from my stash. These are just cork stickers. And I figure since the um, background is um, fairly neutral and even dark as far as the dark blues go and the dark colors, the, the cork bits that are in here will probably go nicely. I pulled in random stickers, guys. Like these have been, I don't even know who the manufacturer is. I bought them at Hobby Lobby, probably on sale for $2.29, half of $2.29 when they did their 50% off. And that's what I have left of them. Yeah. Um, what the company was, I don't know. I didn't save the company name, but I have those left. I have these left. These are from Three Bugs in a Rug. There are one, two, three, four stickers on here. I'm going to try and get those used up. These, I believe, yeah, they're Paper Studio from 2007. They're just phrases, but they have a lot of the same color fills. These are leftovers from who knows where. Really and truly, who knows where. Um, but I had these and I thought, what I can get used, I'll use what I can't. I mean, I don't have any problems um, putting it back or throwing it. Um, again, more leftovers. Don't know where they're all from. When I have like, oh, like this one. This is um, three bugs in a rug. What I could do if I had space on here, I could pull these onto here, but for the time being, I'm going to leave them on here. And I will probably start pulling off some of these other stickers and adding them to this sheet. You know, just to make some space. And then I found this set from Jot um, that has some of the same color tones. Um, and I'm going to try and get some of those used up. And so the color kit had, um, um, oh, it was like a pasty um, colors in orange, pink, and teal, I believe, or mint color. And so I went through my stash. Um, these aren't paste. These are just acrylic paints. Um, and I pulled these in. This is a Mod Podge. Um, yeah, I think this one and this one are supposed to be clear. This one's a sheer green. This one's, um, it just says permanent acrylic paint and so does this one. Uh, these are both Anita's brand and this is plaid brand. So yeah, so I pulled in those three colors. Now how I'm going to use them, you're going to have to bear with me. I also pulled in this glitter paint from Folk Art because the inside of the flowers and these stickles, the inside of the flowers um, had some gold um, embellishment to them. So I'm going to use these to dress up the inside of some of the flowers as well as that. So then a combination of, of things. Um, the color kit had these uh, alphas cut out of little scraps of paper and on each scrap of paper there were like color streaks or a floral piece or something. I think I'm going to try and do something like that but I'm going to try and make my own bits and pieces of backgrounds. I've got background stamps here as well as some different ones here, 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 and here. And so what I'll do is I'll choose one of my um, like my old quick cuts alphas and I will at least make a title maybe two um, that will utilize these pieces in creating that with my different color inks and then because the word uh, stickers initially there wasn't a whole ton of them that I felt were kind of generic I thought I could use some of these it says life courage uh, celebrate have always um, and be kind you can create your own title here so I, I brought that in as well so those are my tools um, for this time around 
Then of course, you know, I can't create a kit without pulling in some freckle fawn embellishments. And so I did. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot. Let me pull those two. I also pulled in a Felicity Jane set of labels and an L Studio uh, wood veneer title. And I think the rest of these are all freckled fawn. Yeah. So I pulled in these felt um, flowers. I'm going to try and get some of those used up. And there were two packages of those, and that's what I have left. I have uh, these enamel hearts in two different shades. I have these enamel dots in uh, one, two, three different shades. I have these epoxy and a red and pink with gold uh, foil um, pieces. I have these transparency shapes and fruit shapes. And because this has um, strawberries and the inspiration I think had lemons or oranges or something. I'm going to try and get some of those used up. How much I'll get used? I don't know. We'll see as I go along. I brought in these um, acetate doilies because there was doilies in the inspiration. And you can see this was an accumulation of multiple packs. I think I probably had three packs of these. I've cut some down and they're stuck in the back because I try and get those used. And then I've what I haven't used is all in here. Um, I have um, these acetate word phrases because there were some uh, what look like stamped out word phrase stickers. So I have those and I have a couple little floral images here. Um, I pulled in these chipboard hearts in gold, silver, and that fuchsia color. I'm going to work with trying to get the gold ones used. And then I pulled in these chipboard pieces that have uh, phrases on them. And of course, that's not enough. I need more, right? I pulled in some additional alphas. These are an old freckled fawn set. These are um, that I have used multiple times, but I still have enough to make words there. Um, these three sets are from Snap, I believe. This set is from uh, Basic Gray Olivia. This set from Freckled Fawn. And then of course I need more. I just went digging through my leftovers bin and I pulled in these journal spots and then all sorts of labels in here. I didn't pull any necessarily label stickers, but I have all these label stickers that I have print and cut out or either punched out from different punch out packs. So yeah, we'll see what I can get used with all of this. And that's it. That's my kit. That's what I'm going to use to create for the month of July 2019. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I may not get it all used up this month, and that's fine. I have multiple kits ongoing, and a lot of times what I will do is I will play with the kit for a little while, get tired of it, and put it away, um, and pull something else out to play with, and then get tired of that, and then put that away, and pull a different kit out. Um, sometimes I'll get a kit out and use it completely up um, before the end of the month and be just shocked that I did that, but that doesn't happen very often or very regularly. Um, so yeah, I tend to hoard my kits a little bit, but I eventually get them used up um, as much as I want to, and then I will get them put back into my stash at some point, um, broken down and put back into my stash. So I'm looking forward to playing with this kit and I hope that it inspires you to get into your stash and pull some bits and pieces out that you want to play with. Um, like for me this time, all these paints that I've added in, I've been trying to add in a few more bits and pieces like that to my last couple of kits because I have so much. I bought so many paints and different um, things like that and I've not used them. I'm not really a messy um, scrapbooker. I don't do all the mixed media stuff and so um, it's hard for me to get the stuff used up and so I'm trying to make a concentrated effort to add it into um, my kits as I go along. Anyway, that's it. Um, I will reserve the right to pull in what I feel like is necessary to pull in or, you know, if I feel like I need something different or want something different, I'll pull it in as I go along. Anywho, like I said, I hope I inspire you to get into your stash and create something with it. And I will see you back with the completed kit when I get it done. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.